Hillary Dallenberg is back with me, and it's always good to see you, Hillary. Nice to see you too, Betsy. Thank you. So we're going to talk a little bit today about, um, you know, we kind of tend to think that when the season's over, things are going to really slow down. Yes. But that's not necessarily the case anymore. It used to be, but we're kind of going to a more year-round market. Tell us a little bit about that. We are. We're seeing that right now. Okay. So this, um, just the beginning of the fall, compared to last year, compared to 2018, we're seeing an increase not only in new listings as compared to last year, but a dramatic increase in pending sales and an increase in closed sales. So what this tells us is we really are moving to this year round yeah. market trend, which is nice because it's you don't want to feel that you've loaded all of the transactions into right. the summertime. And if you don't sell them, then you're just out of luck. Right. That, that simply is not the case anymore. Yeah. Um, along with that though, homes do tend to stay on the market a little bit longer through the fall and through the winter. Mm -hmm. And something I thought your um, viewers might want to know about is how to keep that staged look. Yes. While their home is on market, because it's very, very easy to get ready for photos, right? Sure. And get ready for the open house and yes. the broker tour yes. and like those those very specific events. But what about all the time? Right. Then day to day life comes in. I know. And you have to get the kids ready and you have to go yes. to work and you have to do whatever and maybe the bowl of lemons isn't fresh anymore or whatever. So That's how do right. we do that? Crates. Okay. Mm -hmm. Crates are the answer. So the recommendation that I have, I was given, and then I put into practice yeah. myself is to have a little basket for every sort of heavily used area of your house. So maybe your entryway or your mudroom where the shoes go, the dog leashes go, the kids' backpacks, that type of thing. Everything goes into one crate when you walk in the door. Okay. And the idea is that you put that crate away someplace. Like in the closet or something when you walk mm -hmm. out and leave for the day. That's right, before you leave. That. Yeah, and in the kitchen, don't experiment. You know, don't, <laughs> don't host like a 12 person dinner the night before a showing and think that you're gonna have everything cleaned up and put away and it's not gonna smell like anything but right. fresh lemons to your point. Yeah, so yeah. don't get exotic and maybe just don't go overboard with your hosting during that time just to make your life easier. Right. Um, and kids and fur babies, need to be, their stuff should be contained to one room, which sounds like a, a tough task, but it can be done, especially if you have baskets where the kids are told, you know, just put all your little things in there, or if all the dog toys go in there, because I've seen those spread throughout the houses too. Sure. Um, so I think the key is compartmentalization of our everyday items. That and Halloween is over. So the cobwebs have to go. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, That's it's funny. just a really quick like front door. Yeah. Just do a really good visual sweep of the front walk up to your house, the front door, the windows, and look at it in the morning, look at it in the afternoon, depending on the way the sun comes in, you're gonna catch different things. And with a quick swifter duster, you know, one of those really easy, they have like right. the articulating arms, yep. just get in there and clean it up. Set. Well, you mentioned something interesting when you said Halloween is over, yes. but that means we're going into the holiday season. Yes. So what does that mean in terms of staging? Do we do we not put up Christmas, do a Christmas tree? Do we not do as much? What, oh, what you can do that? whatever you want. Well, no. No, you can't do whatever you want. You can put up decorations. I would not go overboard. You don't need to look like a catalog, okay. right? People still need to be able to see the home, yeah. but you certainly are still living there and you're allowed to be festive. Yeah. You just don't want to occlude maybe the features of your home yeah. because there are Christmas trees everywhere, right? right. Or yeah, garland yeah. or what you know, whatever the case yeah, may be. That so that makes sense. Tasteful. Makes sense. Yes. And then let's go back to the pets for just a second because mm. if you do have a pet that's going to be in the home when it's going to be shown, how do you kind of handle no, that? No. You don't you have can't. a pet in the home okay, when it's shown. So, okay. mm -hmm. There you go. No, that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Unless it's very small and very quiet, like a hamster. Okay. Yeah, but they can be kind of smelly too, so. That's true, I don't have a hamster, <laughs> I wouldn't know. I don't either, but I've heard that from people yeah. who do have a hamster. Okay, so we got we put it in crates, we take Dogs our pets go out somewhere for a walk. else. Okay. Kitties hopefully go in a crate, yeah. so they don't jump out and scare anybody. Yeah. Um, litter boxes should be covered or outside. And we're being very patient at this time of the year because it might stand on the market a little longer, but yes. that doesn't mean that we're not in a place where it's gonna sell. Absolutely. Yeah. It's always great information when you're here. Thank you so much Good. for being with us. Thank yeah, you. We'll see you next time. All right.